Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you are doing great. Uh, if you haven't checked out my other videos already, do it right now. And this video is about research internships, like in particular foreign research internships or research internships at Indian institutes like IITs or IIMs. So after my second year of uh, college, I in the summer break, I did two research internships at foreign universities. One was at Cornell University US and one was at University of Waterloo, Canada. So both of them were remote and they were not paid, unfortunately. But uh, I got one publication out of after the internships that is pretty great for my CV right now. Uh, when I'm applying for masters or even when you're applying for corporate internships or jobs, the research internship experience is valuable. Uh, unfortunately for me, it was remote because of COVID situation, like earlier, there was a, lo a whole lot of thing, but some of my friends from my college uh, went to internships, like they went to the countries and did the internship there, or some of them were even paid. So uh, it's definitely a worth a shot to try and apply for such internships. So in this video, I'll talk about how to like what is the first step while you are looking for such internships how to create your resume or how to write mails for the same to the professors and uh, next we will talk about when to send those mails and how to find out like what to write in the mails and everything like that so yeah let's get started all right so if you are in currently your second year or even your third year and you want to do a research internship for the summer break uh, the first step should be deciding what field you want to pursue the research internship in. Like there are a lot of fields. Some people pursue the internship in their core courses. Some people pursue it in CS or AIML or uh, I pursued in design, design research. And some people pursue in management as well. So the first thing is to find out the subject that it can be if you're in second year and you want to explore so it can be one or two subjects that's not an issue but the first thing is you should find what uh, subject you are interested in and we want to pursue a research intention in and the next step is you have to create a resume or cv for the same uh, i'll put up a general template of how a resume should look like so first it should have your academic qualifications then some scholastic achievements if you have any and then courses you have done or skills or languages you know and then uh, projects or intern experience and then some extra curriculars like sports or any other activities so that should be a typical resume that you will be mailing so the first step is creating that resume you can create it in canva i think that's the best option some people also use overleaf but i think it's a bit difficult to learn so the first basic one is canva you can use canva to create a resume so the first step is done when you are done with your resume you should get it verified of course by your seniors or anyone you can also get it verified by me on i'm like offering the service on top mate so you can check it out and yeah so the first step is preparing your resume and then getting it verified because if you're creating it for the first time it would be very difficult for you to know if it is good if it is bad so it's very important to get it verified by your seniors okay so the next step after creating a resume is creating a cover letter or it's just the content that you're sending the mail uh sending in the mail so it's it'll start with hi i'm this 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 from this this college i'm pursuing this 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 and i'm interested in this field because i want to explore this or i'm um, I want to do a master's so or I want to do a job or something like that and uh, next would be about the person you're writing it to the next paragraph should write about what they are working on and how you why you are interested in that so you should personalize every mail to the professor so you should write a general content and then leave some space for the personalized content and yeah that's it that's the content in the mail for the resume if you do not have projects or if you do not have internships it's okay but you should have like if it's the the field you are applying in is your core field then you must have some uh, courses done in your college or some projects but if it's not then it's necessary for you to show why you are interested in that field because the one thing they see is why you are interested and have you done something about it like they'll not take you if you don't know anything about the field if you're not done anything about the field so you should know 
at least some basic concepts you can do courses or from coursera or you can do like guided projects in the field and write it in your resume it's, it doesn't matter the level of course or level of project it only matters your how you show your interest in the project or in the field so that is very important for making a resume or a cover letter so that is something you should should definitely keep in mind like how is your interest in the subject coming out through your resume and cover letter okay so after you're done with creating your resume getting it verified by your seniors or anyone and cover letter the next step is finding the colleges and the right professors so the one thing you can do for this if you are from a top tier institute from india like iit or something you might want to pursue an internship abroad you might not want to do it at an iit so you can just go to the uh, q qs uh, rankings page and find the universities in your subject area so qs uh, you know qs uh, law, like releases rankings subject wise so you can find in different subjects what is the best institute in that subject so there is a list and you can just start going to individual college pages and then searching faculty and then you'll get a prof- list of professors from that college also in that section you might also get the professor's website personal website or definitely their email you'll get their email definitely their they might have put their research and trust also there so that will help you craft the cover letter for your application so uh, yeah this is a very tedious process going to individual colleges websites and then finding the faculty but if you get the internship then it's all worth it uh, so yeah that's it and if you want to if you want to apply to internships in india like iit or iims that's also the similar process you just go to the college website and then you go to the faculty section look out for individual professors like try to find professors that match your research interests because then the like the mail will have a meaningful impact and there are high chances of you getting a reply so just do your research before sending the mail do not send mails randomly even if you send 200 you might not get one reply if you're sending it just randomly because some professors are also offended that you are not reading about them and just sending random mails to them so yeah that's it uh that's how you create a list of mails okay so the last step after you have done everything is just sending the mails so uh, my advice is uh to send the mails early in october or november but now that time is gone i guess so uh you can send in january because from around 20 december to 10 january all the people like most of the professors are on leave because of christmas and new year so it's not you'll get just you'll get just automatic replies like please send me the mail after january etc so it's best to pre- use this time utilize this time to prepare your resume and everything and just start sending mails in january and uh, for indian professors i think you can send it but still it's i think winter break so people might not reply or might not check their mail so it's better to send in january uh, also for uh, european schools uh, like i uh, mailed some professors in european schools and the reply was that we do not work in summer so we have summer holidays so maybe you will get similar replies and you might not get a chance but yeah you should definitely try maybe some schools are open or they have some programs uh, that work in the summer so yeah you should definitely try now let's talk about my experience so uh, i mailed a uh, university based on i didn't use qs rankings i used some other websites about top design schools or top ux schools but do not do it like that use qs rankings and then i got some replies like after 100 or 200 mails i would say i got four or five replies like positive replies you'll get other replies as well like sorry i do not have open positions or sorry i do not have funding so i got four or five positive replies and then uh, you set up meetings with them and then you talk about what they are doing and how you can contribute and if the project is paid because that will totally depend on the funding that your professor has so if the professor has good amount of funding they can even call you in like offline setting so uh, unfortunately for me 
uh, there was covid as well and they had certain restrictions that they cannot hire uh, people from other countries or something like that so i my pay, pro, my internship was not paid so i found tried to find an other internship which was in university of waterloo but both of these internships were very valuable for me in terms of learning uh most importantly and then it also helped me uh, eva- uh enhance my resume for further applications and i'm from one internship as i said we uh, submitted a paper in a, a conference and we also got accepted so i have a publication in my name so that's pretty cool so you should definitely uh, like apply to uh, via this route there are also some other internship programs like my tax a uh, program which is offered in canada by canadian universities which is only for i think students who are currently in their third year so there are other programs like this which are fully funded like my tax is fully funded they they provide for everything and yeah you should definitely try out these programs as well if you have some research and done experience in your second year and when you are applying for my tax or some other program in the third year that would be very like that would count towards that so you should definitely do that and yeah i think that was my experience yeah up keep applying and let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful like drop a heart or something or if you have any other questions regarding uh, applying for internships and getting such internships i'll be happy to help all right that was it for the video i'll see you in the next video bye bye